Hi there, and welcome to Wassel Woodworking. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make this egret out of 4-inch PVC pipe. I saw this years ago, and bought one at a craft fair, brought it home, and made about a dozen of them. Some of them are overlooking the railroad at Eagle Point Railway, some are overlooking the lakes on Lake Teleco, and yet others have been given away to charity auctions to raise money. Thought you'd like to see how this is made, so enjoy the video. Alright, so now I have the template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out on it and trace it out. I'm going to get a marker. I'm going to use purple. And then you start the slow job of tracing. Next big part of this is about drilling some holes in different key spots to allow the jigsaw to go through. And you're going to want to leave little tabs in there so that it all stays round. Um, using my DeWalt jigsaw um, or saber saw, I got a really thin blade, a uh, fine blade to it should be good for making curves and it will also uh, leave things rather smooth. We'll go with a 5 16 inch bit. Now I'll get my hearing protection on. And here it is, the bird is cut out. All right, so what I've done here is I've brought in the other, uh, one of my original birds, just so you can see what it looks like. And uh, there's a couple things we have to do. First, we have to fold the top of the head. And uh, right now, as you can see, it still pretty much looks like a, a piece of pipe. So we're gonna heat that up and so we can fold it over we ended up using a clamp to hold that. It's going to get very hot, which is why I got this. This is a bucket of water. So once I get it to the right shape, I can dunk it in there and it'll, it'll pretty much freeze at that, uh, with that shape. So I'm going to use a heat gun. This is uh, Harbor Freight. Cheap, they're like 15 bucks. You gotta keep them moving because this will burn. Let's see if this works. It does work. It's bending over very, very, very nicely. So the trick is to bend it over and put it in the water. See, it looks uh, pretty good actually. I like that. Now, the trick is to bring the top part down the beak just a little bit. So it's still pretty hot inside. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna, we can bend it over a little bit. Now we're gonna make this curve in it.
be similar to this one. So I'm going to turn it like this. It's like I have the right dimension. Dunk it in water. That'll freeze it. There you go. All right, so now we're going to do the legs. We're just going to heat right in this spot until we bend it over. Now I'm basically just going to hold this still for a few minutes until this uh, cools off. All right, so now we're getting there. Now we got to do is do the feet. Now the feet, see I've already separated them a little bit. I want them to be uh, apart like that. It's a good time to sand them, but it's also uh, need to bend them forward to where they're both the same, otherwise it will be tilted. I'm going to make a, a mark right where I think the feet should be. And I think it should be like there. You don't have to worry about the lines because we're going to be painting this black later on anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to take this and put this on and bend this forward. So we've now sanded everything and we're ready to drill into, uh, it's a tumbled stone from Home Depot, seven by seven by about an inch and five eighths inch thick. So that I don't drill into my uh, bench top, I'm gonna put this down. Now I have actually, uh, do have a pattern for this that I did before and I've offset uh, the feet uh, two and a quarter inches from each side. So I can now just put that template right on top and take a pin and basically mark it and now we are ready to drill those holes all the way through. So now I have uh, that in, I've drilled all the way through to the bottom and I will use two Tapcon screws to hold this in place once we get this done. So now we're going to drill through the feet. That is going to be uh, 13 sixteenths in diameter. And I'm going to drill through. So now we have the bird. We're really ready to paint it. So I will uh, just going to eyeball that, paint the bottom, and I'm going to hand paint the face, put the little googly eyes and the yellow on the beak. And then we'll screw it together and that will be it. Okay, so we have masked off the entire egret, and I have the legs, and I'm going to spray them because the plastic is a little staticky, and the static will attract the spray everywhere else, so I'm just going to do it this way. So now, we will let that dry. So now it's time to paint the beak yellow. And I have also masked that off as well, although not quite as good as I would like. All right. Now we're just going to let that sit and dry. All right, one of the other things I forgot to do is we have the screws. Head of the screws, they have to be black because they're blue right now so you take a piece of cardboard and give it a good little coat like that and now all I have to do is put the googly eyes and paint it black so I got to do the black part first so we're about to take the googly eyes and we're going to put just a little bit of glue on the back and put them in place, hopefully without burning my hand.
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing how to make a egret from a four inch piece of pipe. It's been a lot of fun making this. It's a little different because it's not your traditional woodworking. It works great to sit outside. It lasts a long time and looks good. So hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, place your comments below and please subscribe today. And if you liked it enough, please forward it on so that I can get some more views on this video. Thanks. That didn't feel good. It uh, gouged me down the back of my leg. Now I'm bleeding. Anyway. Ow! And I burned my hand. Thanks for watching.